in the adjoining figure a b e f and c d are parallel lines so there's a figure given here and as you can see a b this line segment a b e f and d c these three are parallel lines given that g e is 5 cm right g e is the segment g e is 5 cm g c is 10 cm so from g to c it is 10 cm and d c is 18 cm right this parallel line dc is 18 cm then ef is equal to what so we need to uh, find out the length of the segment ef now how do we do that simple just try to uh, observe you will find that the two triangles egf and gdc are similar and you know by taking the ratio of the sides in case of similar triangles you will be able to arrive at the answer right which is the length ef how do we do it now just look just look at it if you observe the angle efg in this triangle we are, we are comparing two triangles which two triangles triangle efg and triangle uh, dgc right we are trying to compare these two triangles now the point to be noted here is angle efg this angle and angle gdc would be equal getting it angle efg will be equal to angle uh, gdc right efg will be equal to angle gdc why because these are alternate angles if you if you observe ef and dc can be taken as two parallel lines and fd is a transversal now you know right what happens in case of parallel lines right ef and dc like given in the question are two parallel lines this is like e f and cd is the other parallel line right and we can consider uh, fd as a transversal basically right fd is a transversal so you know that in case of parallel lines right if you try to extend this and just cross it out here we'll find you know that these two angles are equal right the alternate angles are equal in case of parallel lines and a transversal you able to follow just try to extend those lines so that it is easy to comprehend if at all you find it difficult to apply that we very well know that alternate angles are equal so e f d and f d c these two angles are equal so these are the equal angles now moreover if you look at angle e g f this angle e g f and angle d g c these two will also be equal why these are vertical angles these like you know uh, two lines intersecting each other right vertical angles are equal vertically opposite angles are equal right so we can also say that angle e g f angle e g f will be equal to angle uh, g c d right oh, sorry c g d c g d that's it so because two angles in these two triangles are equal obviously the two triangles are similar yes or no the two triangles are similar because when two of the angles are equal the third angle will also be equal these two angles are equal these two angles are equal at d and f the angles are equal at g and g the angles are equal so obviously angles at e and c will also be equal because some of the angles in both the triangles has to be 180 you getting it so all the three angles are equal and hence we can conclude that these triangles are similar now that we know that the two triangles are similar just take the ratio of their sides right so we can say ef the side ef divided by the side dc ef by dc will be equal to what eg by gc eg by gc substitute the values now so you have to take corresponding sides the ratio of corresponding sides you just cannot take it in any way you want right corresponding sides so if you look at it ef and dc are like the bases so ef by dc the ratio of the base sides should be equal to eg by dc eg by gc these two angles are equal right so take the corresponding sides there so ef has to be calculated dc is given as 18 eg is 5 and gc is 10 so what do we get we'll get ef as 9 cm all right again like you all know because of explanation it has taken so much of time right if you do it yourself you need not write all these steps here right all these are not needed that these two angles are equal it is it is just to verify it visually you can say that the angles are equal i mean visually as in by looking at the figure you know that these uh, alternate angles and vertically opposite angles are always equal so you can understand that there are corresponding i mean there are similar triangles and going by the ratio of corresponding sides you will be able to find out the required length ef which comes out to be 9 cm all right so option 4 would be the answer all right each interior angle of a regular polygon is 3 times its exterior angle then the number of sides of the regular polygon is so basically it is a regular polygon and you know the formula for interior angle and exterior angle right it, it, it actually says that each interior angle right is 3 times is equal to 3 times the exterior angle 
right? Three times the exterior angle. Now substitute the formula, right? What is the formula for interior angle? Interior angle of a regular polygon can be taken as 2n minus 4 into 90 divided by n, right? What is n here? The number of sides should be equal to three times each exterior angle. What is exterior angle of a regular polygon? 360 degrees divided by n, right? 90 degrees and 360 degrees. These are uh, values in degrees there. That said, now one equation in one unknown. Can you simplify this? Yes. Solve this for n and you'll get the required answer, right? He's asking us to find out the number of sides. Number of sides is nothing but n. So n gets cancelled on both the sides, right? So what do we have here? Uh, 2n into 90, 180n minus 360 equals to 3 into 360. So from this, we can say 180n is equal to, see 3 into 360 is 1080 and minus 360 when goes on the other side, it becomes plus 360. So 1080 plus 360 is 1440, 1440. And finally, n will come out to be 8 because 1440 divided by 180 is equal to 8. Right, 1440 divided by 180 will be 8. So the answer for this question is the number of sides. Number of sides is 8. Number of sides is 8, option 2. So very simple one based on the formula for interior and exterior angle. So it is very important that you remember uh, these formula, right? Formula for interior angle is 2n minus 4 into 90 divided by n. And exterior angle is 360 divided by n, where n is the number of sides.